hi guys welcome back to my youtube video um so for today's video i thought it would be really fun and fresh okay jim charles i thought it would be really fun to do a um, makeup look kind of like a neutral makeup look and today we're going to be using yes nonetheless the jim charles palette <laughs> Um, so first things first, before you even get started, you're going to want to go ahead and prime your face. I already did that. I already primed my eyes and I already, um, used the eyebrow gel on my eyebrows. Um, for the primer that I use, I use the e.l.f. Putty Primer. It's really good. It's kind of like clay. It's like really putty, you know? And it's, it's that, it does its job. It's really nice. Okay, so I'm the type of person that first does the eyebrows and then do the eyes and then the rest of the face. I don't know why, I just, I find it a lot more easier like that. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, now that we're done with our eyebrows, we're going to go ahead and move on to our eyeshadows. Now, whenever you're doing an eyeshadow look, it is important to have a base color. A base color would kind of be something neutral, something similar to your skin tone, like maybe this one or so. Just so your eyeshadow can be applied more easily and it can be blended very easily, okay? So, this one right here, I already applied it to my eyelids. It's called Canvas. Now, what I want to use as my transition shade, hmm... I would probably use this one right here and be going in with my crease brush. And the crease brush would look something like this. It's a little dirty, I know. But yeah, it's something like slanted, like a little curved. Okay, so you're going to want to get them on your brush, tap off some axis, and go into town with it. I've already applied my transition shade punch me. You can't really see it, but that's the whole point. I will be going in with a darker color, and I will be using this one right here. This one is called Mary. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and dab on that brush don't forget to tap off any extra and then i'm going to want to start off here like on the outer end of my eye okay and then i'm going to want to bring it in like halfway not all the way in just halfway using very light um gentle strokes let me tell you guys something let me tell you all a little bit it's very important that whenever you're doing eyeshadow you want you always 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 want to use a light hand you never want to use a rough hand or a hard hand because then it's going to be really hard to blend your brushes also it's very nice if you guys it's very easy actually i don't know why i said very nice but it's very easy if you if you grab your brush from the end instead of it having here because if you have it from here your blending is not going to be that good and it's going to look really harsh so remember you always want to hold it from the end over here and just use very light strokes okay Hey guys, now that I've done applied uh, Mary on my eyelid, I'm going to go ahead and use a darker color. If you want, you can stop right there and just continue with the rest of your face. But if you want it a little bit more darker, you know, you can go ahead and continue. So I'm going to be using this color right here. It is Boutique. It is kind of like Mary, but it's just a little darker in a sense. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the same brush that I just had, which is this one. And I'm going to go ahead and grab Boutique. And don't forget to tap off any extra um, product. And this one, I'm going to apply it only on the outer ends okay guys now that i'm back i have already done my eyeliner and i just go ahead and give myself just a small little wing now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna do foundation and concealer so for today i will be using the makeup revolution concealer it is so cute i love it to me i personally feel like it's a dupe of the shape tape the tart shape tape so yeah but whatever this cost me around like 12 dollars i think or seven dollars i'm not sure somewhere around that price range and i went ahead and got the same foundation as well it is so cute it i think that one did cost me around twelve dollars so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab like a brush like this like a flat ended brush i guess and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna clean up our brows all right so what this does is it kind of like makes your brows look a little bit cleaner and a little bit sharper and who would have want that i mean come on Come on, who wouldn't want clean, sharp brows? I know I do. Oh no, guys. This is crazy. So guys, how was your weekend? I know we're starting in May already. That's crazy. You know what that means, right? It means three more months until my birthday. I'm so excited. I still don't know what to do for my 21st birthday. I really don't know. I mean, all the clubs are closed and I will probably remain closed till then, but that doesn't matter. We can always have a little get together, but I'm still not really sure. And this looks pretty funny. I know I look pretty funny. Now with the remaining product that you have on your hand, go ahead and use it on your under eyes. Now you can normally draw a triangle like how you're supposed to. 
like so but i mean really there's no wrong or right way hey guys i've already wet my beauty blender and i've already go ahead and um blended my concealer next we're gonna be applying foundation on our faces now for foundation you can go as heavy as you want or you can go as light as you want it all really depends on your preference but me i will be going in lightly and uh, i really like this applicator applicator because it's like dude that's pretty cool i prefer a pump but i mean whatever i'm gonna go ahead and apply this on the back of my hand just so i can distribute an equal amount of foundation all over my face now you can use a flat ender brush or you can use your beauty blender or your buffing brush however you prefer for this case i will be using the beauty blender so i'm gonna go ahead and grab some product now I'm going to go ahead and start applying it on my face and just start blending. Oh my god guys, so what are y'all going to do for Mother's Day? Do you guys have any ideas or any gifts that you plan on giving your mom? Because, oh my god. If you do, let me know because I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what to give my mom and I know that sounds really bad but I really, really don't have an idea. I mean, I can get her flowers but she's probably going to get like a lot of flowers. You know, I always want to get her something that's like really unique. And, well, my mom has, like, Pandora bracelets, so maybe I can get her, like, a charm, but... I don't know, like, I know the mall's open, but I don't know if I want to go. <laughs> or I'll just make her something, like, DIY, you know? Something like that, something cute. Or, I don't know, I'll come up with it, like, last minute, like I always do. But, yeah, I love my mom. Honestly. She's, like, my best friend and everything, I swear. No one's gonna love you and no one's gonna understand you like your own mom. So if you have a mom, cherish her because you're not gonna get another one. I'm gonna tell you that. You're not gonna get another mom. So if you have a mom, cherish her, love her. If you got into an argument with her recently, apologize, you know. It doesn't matter, just, you know, because you never know. That's the thing with me. Like, I never tend to argue with people unless I'm, like, really mad and whatnot. But I'm always the first one to forgive. Not because, like, I'm weak or whatever. It's, it's because, I mean, you never know, you know? Like, let's say you get into an argument with your best friend, and then, like, you tell her, oh, I hate you, and this and that. And then next thing you know, she gets into a car crash and she dies. Like, God forbid that ever happened to my best friend. But, like, imagine? I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I knew the last thing that happened between me and her was an argument. So, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? <laughs> So yeah, you're gonna go ahead and wanna just keep blending and blending your foundation. Don't forget to blend down your neck, blend down your ears, blend out your mistakes, your axes. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah, you're just gonna wanna keep on blending. Just keep blending and blending and blending and blending. Ooh. Why did that kind of snap though? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> All right, so yeah, just keep blending. Like I said, you can apply as much as you want or as little as you want. It all depends on your preference. So yeah, uh, we'll just keep on blending. And blending, and blending, and blending. 3,000 years later, and blending, and blending, and blending. So yeah, you're gonna wanna keep on doing that. So like when I was in middle school, wow, my beauty blender was well. So when I was in middle school, this is all I would do. I would apply globs of foundation that was not my shade at all on my face and call it a day and i'll just go like that no powder no blush no nothing just pure foundation not even primer i was horrible what the hell oh no but i guess we all learn from our mistakes so yeah so yeah you keep blending and then once you feel like you've had a good blend then you want to get a good what then you're gonna want to get your setting powder now for setting powder i really haven't used it as in the sense like i've never really been into setting powder or whatnot but i was like you know what let me go ahead and try it out and today i will be using your basic um but good really smelling good um what is it called powder now this is called baking i guess i don't know why they call it like that but yeah we're gonna go ahead and bake wake and bake just kidding guys i don't wake and bake or do I? Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. I don't. So yeah, you're gonna want to go ahead and just apply this where you've applied your concealer or in places you want it to be set. Now, I'm just gonna be putting this wherever 
because like i see a lot of people always applying this to like the bottom of their eyes on their nose <laughs> everywhere so yeah did i tell you guys that the first couple times i tried on um, baking was like horrible like i don't know why it just it wouldn't mm, like do me anything which is weird but i don't know i guess i wasn't doing it right back then or something i don't really know but yeah we're just gonna keep on baking and baking and baking and baking and baking your face now while that's um baking just sit back and relax you can be on your phone you can be um reading a book or whatever you want just wait a couple of minutes until this is done i'm not gonna say okay guys i literally just caught myself saying okay guys okay guys okay guys okay guys every time i do uh, a video and it's like girl what are you doing okay so um i've been letting this bake for quite a while and i think it's already time to take it off take it off take it just came um so i will be using a big bad boy brush like this something really fluffy just to sweep off my mistakes and everything else i'm just gonna just to sweep off the powder here and yeah wow guys so 2020 huh it's been really like a really crazy year i mean thank god we didn't get aliens right but i mean we got hornet wasps i mean no we got murder wasps right the mortar hermit oh my god i can't even speak but yeah i mean i'll take that over any aliens any other day because um I'm, I'm good i'm good i don't wanna you know have an alien invasion or experience even an alien invasion because i've seen like alien movies and they're actually pretty scary and they're actually like terrifying because i mean we're not the only ones in the world so like that can literally happen any other day like maybe it's not gonna happen today or tomorrow or next month but it, it could happen and like dude it's crazy i don't know if you guys heard but like the, the aliens what the fuck um the pentagon actually released ufo um videos so hmm, i wonder how those people feel the ones who never believe in aliens i wonder how they must feel right now <laughs> so yeah i mean no offense but if you believe if you believe that there's no such thing as aliens and if you believe that we are the only ones and there goes my primer then no offense but i feel like you are a very close-minded person because obviously we're not alone we live in a galaxy among other millions and millions of planets and stars and whatnot like dude come on open up a little bit think of like the box you know so yeah guys i don't know why but lately my lips have been feeling really really chapped and i hate that i hate chapped lips i really do i think i need to exfoliate them i think it's that time so guys what do you think i should eat i really don't know what i'm in the mood for i kind of in the mood for like chicken but then again i'm in the mood for like pizza you know like i really don't know the thing is i have food here but i'm just really lazy to make it so what do you think should i order food or should i cook food let me know down below <laughs> so then next once we're done applying our powder and, and everything whatever we're gonna go ahead and contour so I would be using the LA Girls Bonder because it's really cute and it's portable and I like that. And it comes with like this little like sponge I guess but I mean we're not in the 80s, 60s no more so no offense. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab a brush, a contour brush. <gasps> Where's my contour brush? It's right here. She darty, I know but whatever. Alright. now. I remember when did I oh I started contouring as well when I was like in high school my first ever contour kit was the ABH one. Oh my god that is my holy girl I love that palette so much but yeah I used to always go in with like the darkest shade in the palette and girl it was horrible it was horrible horrible also guys like everything in high school was just bad like my makeup revolution was awful like how do I say it when I was in in ninth grade i used to have really really thin brows like oh my god it was horrible i used to I, like literally i used to have just like one strand of like hair like de -de 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 -de. like i would over pluck them i was a victim of over plucking my eyebrows and still to this day i kind of suffer from like my trauma from high school <laughs> but i mean i'm learning and i'm growing and so are my eyebrows and jesus 
but oh my god i would literally pluck my eyebrows like probably every weekend i'm not kidding i would pluck them like every weekend it was horrible and i didn't stop until somebody thank you if you know who you are thank you so much until somebody had told me oh my god dude your eyebrows are so thin like why that's when it hit me and that's when i had the realization of like girl you have no eyebrows i mean come on stop stop doing that to yourself so until that like so that day i don't pluck my eyebrows i mean yeah i still pluck them but not as crazy as i used to because it was awful i'm so glad that i grew out of that face so yeah okay so you're gonna want to contour your cheeks like so okay just to give yourself a really nice um chiseled look i guess you're gonna contour that fat forehead of yours yeah because i have a fat forehead and i hate that just kidding i don't i love my forehead i think it's cute whoa that's really bright oh my god a little goes a long way huh so yeah wow that's blending out really nice you guys i love that a little fallout but it's okay wow i really need my brows okay now what i always do at the end of my makeup tutorials or whatever whenever i'm done with my makeup I always go ahead and grab a blending brush and I just go ahead and blend out my eyeshadow just one more time. Just one more time. So yeah, how you guys been doing? I know I've been really inactive. I'm so sorry. I'm really just lazy. Like, honestly, I'm sorry. But I promise I'll start posting more consistently, okay? Because Jesus. I don't know why I get so lazy though, like... I really don't know why but yeah now that you have already blended on your eyeshadow now the last thing is mascara so i will be using two mascaras today i will be using the benefit um bad girl bang i actually got this as a gift thank you and then i will be using the wet n wild mega volume now this one by itself is also really good so yeah Oh my god, you guys want to know a really good mascara? A really good mascara that I recommend is the, um, I think it's a dupe of the Better Than Sex mascara, but it's L'Oreal. I really forgot what it's called. I think it's called Lash Paradise or something like that, but the packaging is exactly like the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced. Exactly the same. Just obviously a different name. I think I am done already with my whole makeup look. I hope you guys really like this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!